explosions along the Meduguri Dikwa Mate Ngala roads, resulting in the deaths of security personnel, civilian JTF members, humanitarian workers, and farmers, have been recurrent in the northern part of Borno of recent. Mate is 150 kilometers from Meduguri, while Ngala is 153 kilometers from the capital. The two local government areas are economically strategic to Borno State and the federal government due to the transborder commercial activities along the route. Destroyed by years of insurgency, roads leading to these economically viable local government areas have become easy traps for commuters and other users by Boko Haram terrorists who plant explosives on the roads. Let me use this opportunity to commend you for the Visiting and addressing the Army Brigade in New Mate after a landmine explosion involving Army personnel, the governor speaks to journalists on the spate of explosions rocking parts of the state. We have to be very careful with the view to determining who is doing what. It's mind-boggling. What has been happening in recent time is mind-boggling. I think we have some group of people that don't want to see the end of this crisis. There's a lot of sabotage in what we are doing. Inshallah, we are trying to trust those that are committing these crimes within us. And therefore, I'm calling upon the Nigerian military, the Nigerian army, to work hard and identify the culprits wherever they are. I'm also calling upon our DSS, our paramilitary, to also investigate the remote causes of these uh, mines and exploded ordinances that have been exploding along our major roads in recent times. The governor then inspects destroyed communities in Mate with the view to rebuild and resettle IDPs. From there, the governor went to Logumani community in Ngala local government area, where he resettled 500 households who used to live in IDP camps. He also gave them items to help them settle in. I advise the people of this community to make better use of the facilities that is being provided to them. I advise them to enroll their children into school. Most especially, I advise them to utilize and maintain this very beautiful enemies. Government of Borno State will not relent in its effort of providing basic amenities to its citizens. And inshallah, government will resuscitate the Moribond irrigation scheme that is in existence in this. Governor Zulum assures that his administration will not only resettle the IDPs, but will also provide agricultural facilities to boost irrigation farming and other agricultural value chain activities.